everybody, this is Mon. My wife and I returned from our 10 day trip through Ireland, actually the southern part, part of Ireland, uh, yesterday. So in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you what I took uh, on this trip. This is just going to be just the part that I took. My wife, my wife has her own suitcase. One thing that I want to cover right away is this trip, uh, even though it was 10 days, was probably the lightest packing trip abroad I have ever done. Of course, I take the clothing necessary for the trip as well as the electronics so I can do some recording along the way. And I actually check one bag and I keep all the valuables with me uh, at all times. Anyways, I'm going to do some unpacking uh, of my suitcase in an attempt to show you what I took on this trip. First, I think I'm going to show you the clothes, uh, uh, which right now includes all the dirty laundries. Even though I packed the lightest uh, of all the trips I've gone, there are a number of clothing items that I didn't actually get to use. The first thing, well, pajamas. Uh, a toilet t toiletry bag, okay, and a fleece cardigan or jacket. The temperature in Ireland was uh, really mild. The lowest was uh, in the mid 40s, I think, if I remember correctly. But the rest of the time was in the mid 60s, and at times it feels warmer uh, while in the sun. So a, one jack, one fleece jacket is good, and I pack my uh, clothing in um, packing bags like this. This one has uh, some clean underwear that I didn't use. Um, and then another bag that has uh, all of the shirts. Um, I think I have one shirt that I, yeah, one shirt that I did not use. Still clean. One undershirt I did not use. A, an extra pair of socks and also a t-shirt. We spent two nights at a castle, we plan on going to tea or having a fancy dinner at the castle. So I have to take uh, my press shirt and also um, khakis just in case. I was going to pack um, a jacket, but uh, decided at the last minute that I didn't. Found out later after being at the castle that the jacket was required. We ended up did not go to any of those fancy places. Just. Uh, ate uh, in town nearby which was uh, nice enough food and uh, we enjoyed ourselves very much. Also another packing bag. This one still has a, a pair of clean khakis and a pair of shorts that I did not use. And let's see what else is in here. I actually had prepared a bunch of uh, paperwork on all the sightseeing that we were going to do. I have these with me so so I can review um, during the trip, but uh, after the trip I put in the main suitcase. And then the bottom part here are the dirty laundries. So I ended up uh, taking four shirts, a couple t-shirts. Um, I wore a uh, one same pair of pants the entire trip. Uh, and then on the way back, I wore a nice shirt and a pair of jeans because uh, coming back here uh, in the Seattle area, I expected to have um, uh, poor weather. Anyways, that's all from my main suitcase, which is a, a 55 liter uh, backpack. So that's that. So what's in this big bag here? On the way over, I have a hat with me headset, actually a souvenir that I got. Also I have this uh, pretty nice jacket. If you watch my videos, uh, I, this is probably the only one I wore the entire time. This is Eddie Bauer First Ascent jacket, which works pretty well as a, a waterproof jacket as well as a windbreaker. One of the places we were at was really windy. One fleece jacket, and one wind, windbreaker jacket. Of course I had my iPhone with me. And in this big bag here I have a laptop bag um, which I had my medicine, MacBook Air, 
sunglasses, Joby tripod, a big one. I did, did not actually use this one, but you never know what you're going to need. Since our trip consists of a road trip uh, in a car, I took a suction cup um, mount just in case I need it. I did not end up using it. Uh, also a, a small tripod for my iPhone. I did not use this one either. This one I used one time uh, when we went hiking up uh, to a fort and I used this one. Uh, a selfie stick. I think that's it. That was the laptop bag. I also have another case inside this case here because it's padded. And this is where I have another um, camera. Um, I always have one camera with a zoom, with optical zoom. I've been using this Panasonic uh, digital camera. It's a point and shoot and has pretty good uh, decent quality zoom. And I am actually filming this clip using the Sony camcorder um, that I took on the trip and also the GoPro Hero 5 I also used it on this trip so th this camera as well as this camera I took with me the camcorder I rely on when I need to zoom in uh, closer to an object and I almost always prefer um, optical zoom um, I never have any luck with digital zoom. Uh, maybe because my iPhone is iPhone 6. I'm hoping to upgrade it to iPhone 10 uh, when it's available. We'll see. So, actually, I have small bags within the big bag so that I um, give myself. Uh, um, compartments uh, to store things and this can go in here as well uh, to give additional padding um, so that's why I did that so what else is in here let me get off my knees here so on one side this is where I keep all the giblets and um, because Ireland uh, use uh, I think 220 or 240 uh, volts uh, electricity. I, I have this uh, power strip with me I bought from Thailand. Uh, it has uh, enough plug-in for three. And I also travel with uh, this power adapter. And also a uh, power cord for that camcorder. Oh, this is for the car. Um, actually, I use this on a daily basis in my own car. So, uh, without the, the Y adapter, of course, I took it with me um, just in case because uh, I actually rented a car and also rented a GPS from Hertz. The Hertz GPS was pretty much useless. Actually, it has some use. Uh, it has some information about speed limit, uh, which at times uh, was hard to see because the, the speed limit sign uh, next to the road are that small, literally that small. So uh, it was really difficult to use. Um, so I ended up uh, using uh, Google Maps uh, offline in an offline mode. So I downloaded the areas that I would be covering and put it on my phone and that was very helpful. I did not need a data plan uh, to use it at all. I actually bought a SIM, uh, an international SIM uh, for this phone but ended up uh, couldn't use it for whatever reason so I got this Y back to here and also um, the adapter for uh, my wife's Samsung phone as well as my iPhone cord so that's in there this one was kept in the car the whole time and also this uh, mount for my phone the vent mount and see on this side I travel with a hand sanitizer and a whistle just in case you never know when you're gonna need it I have a neck pillow as well as the eye shades okay in, the, in here I took a notebook just in case even though I have a smartphone 
you never know when you're going to need to write, write down something quick. So that's handy. Oh, along with my electronics, I have one of these adapter for USB uh, charging. This came handy because uh, with three, three of the power plugs as well as uh, four USB ports, that came in handy. I also took a battery pack. I think I used this just once. The advantage of having the car uh, with you is you can keep your devices uh, charge at all times. That's about it guys. I don't think I took too many things. Um, if you have any comments, uh, if you would do something else different for this trip, let me know. I think this is as light as I'm comfortable going anywhere. Uh, if I'm going to be gone longer, I probably would, would have made provisions for uh, washing uh, some clothes along the way. I think that's it for this episode. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you get to watch my other videos. Please subscribe. I would appreciate that. Uh, if you have any comments about all the videos I've made, uh, please let me know and I try my best to respond. And I'll see you next time.